Hey guys, today's video is going to be a demonstration slash review slash first impression slash new product that I'm going to be trying out. It is called the Maybelline Dream of Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. It is this right here. Um, you can pick this up at your local drugstore, you know, Ulta, Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, any of those places they do sell this. Of course, I wanted to try this out because there's a lot of good positive reviews on it and I'm not really seeing anyone that I know of, that I watch on YouTube that has a very oily skin like myself. I have possibly the oiliest skin in the United States of America. I mean, it is so greasy. So, I wanted to try this out to see if it is a mattifying foundation for, you know, oily skin, how it holds up, and blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. The color that I got in this foundation is Porcelain Ivory in number 10. This is the lightest shade that it goes. Obviously, as you can tell, I am a very pale girl. You hair, you need to stop. You need to get in your place. Sorry. So on the back, it says Innovation, our first gel whipped foundation. Um, it is a fresh, new and flawless dream velvet. Whips a fresh gel into a velvet soft texture. Complexion is perfected and smooth with a soft matte finish, just like velvet. Skin feels fresh while lasting hydration. Kind of sounds too good to be true. So what I want to do first is... Um, I think I'm going to apply one half of the face with like a beauty sponge, kind of like a real technique sponge, and the other half with just a stippling brush, and maybe one half of the face with primer and the other half without a primer. And then we will see how it looks. First, I bought a new one, one of these, because like my other one just had it. It was, it was beat half to death because I was beating my face. I need to wet this, and I think the brush that I'm going to be using today is the Morphe E6 brush. It's just a flat top kabuki, just like this. It's one of my favorite foundation brushes from Morphe. It's really good and affordable, and I'm going to be using this as well. I'm pretty sure everyone on the internet that does um, watch beauty videos or knows anything about beauty knows about this now, so you can thank Nikki Tutorials for that. So I just want to shake it. Gotta wet this. Be right back. Okay, so I'm going to pin my hair out of my face because that's absolutely annoying when people try to put their makeup on and their hair is just, you know, all over the place. It's just like, girl, just go get a hair bow or something and just get that hair out of your face. So I think this side of the face, I am just going to apply some of this and I think I might use, um, ow. <sighs> Y'all. I'm 29 years old and I have arthritis in this joint right here and I've had it since I was 13 and I tell you what, days when we have bad weather, it acts up so awful. Like today, there's it's snowing outside and my wrist is just killing me, man. It's killing me, Smalls. Okay, I'm going to take this and I just want to shake it. I don't know if this helps, but I just like to shake my foundations. I'm gonna apply some on the back of my hand. I don't know. So what I'm gonna do, now that's set, I'm just gonna kinda do this, place this. It's very nice and uh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't use that much, but you just never know. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to leave my dark circles right here. Um, no one depending on it because I am going to put some orange concealer. And now for any of you guys that are saying you don't need orange concealer, I want to zoom you all in and show you what this looks like. See, look at that. That's why I wear orange concealer. People on Instagram get so butthurt sometimes if you wear orange concealer. Like, you don't need it. It's like, honey, this lighting, first of all, cancels out a lot of like redness and darkness and I put orange concealer on for a reason not for a fad so shh. I do notice that like it's drying very very soft and matte like it claims I really like the way it feels it's very soft it kind of feels like a baby's butt okay now what I want to do is take the other side and we're going to apply this with a brush so do it the same way, just kind of dot this everywhere. Oops, that one's a little thick. 
Okay, and I'm just going to just stipple this on. You can buff if you want to, but I don't like to buff. I like to stipple because, like I said, my face is oily, so I know so when I do kind of rub, it slides everywhere. So. That's a pretty good, nice coverage so far. Whatever's the left on the back of my hand, I want to take my Beauty Blender or Real Technique sponge, sorry, and I'm just going to kind of go in places where I do tend to like to have a little bit more coverage, which is usually um, on my nose and on like right through here. Whoa! Okay, when I went back in to apply more foundation, just a little bit more, it's starting to take some of the foundation off. I gotta fix it. See if a brush can fix it. Nope. Well, I'll be, oh my goodness. What I'm gonna do right now is I want to go ahead and put my NYX Orange Concealer on right here. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this Maybelline Master Conceal and I wanna put this right here. Our dark circles are covered up. And I do like to take it over my lid because I do have purple veins. So I like to bring up that orange concealer and the concealer together onto the outlet. Highlighting, I'm just going to take that Master Conceal by Maybelline. I'm just going to just highlight a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Chin right there. Now we're going to bake underneath the eyes. And I'm going to be taking some air spun loose powder. Okay, now that we are setting that right now, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I like to swirl all three together. Tap it off. Now we're going to bake underneath that contour. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is just finish up the eyes and the rest of the face and then we'll come back and talk about the foundation. So hold your horses man, I'll be right back. Okay guys, and I want to give you some final thoughts of what I think about this foundation. First of all, I think it's a really good foundation. So far, I'm looking at my skin and it looks absolutely flawless after I've applied, you know, powder, bronzer, and baked, and highlight, you know, the whole nine yards. And my skin looks really, really good. It's so gorgeous. And the thing I think I like the most about it is like, it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel super cakey. And, um... And it's so soft. I mean, it's so, so soft. And I love that about a foundation because one thing I don't like about foundations, I'm sure everyone is like this, is if a foundation is just so cakey and it's to the point of it just feels super unbearable, yeah, I don't like it. I know the CoverGirl um, Outlast foundations like that for me. It's just almost too cakey. But this right here is such a good foundation. The only thing I did not like about it when I was going to go back and to apply a second layer, I noticed the foundation did start kind of tearing off. So I kind of stopped. And then I went back and did my highlighting and concealing and it just covered it up just fine. So that was the only flaw I found in this foundation. But besides that, this is a really good foundation. And I believe it retailed at for $7 or $8.99 at Walmart or Target. You know, so it's not bad. So yeah, so kudos to the uh, drugstore foundations for stepping their game up and really, uh, you know, bringing us foundation that you're not um, paying an arm and a leg for. So I really like that. So yeah, so my review on this is that it's a really good foundation. If you are oily, go out and buy it. And if you are dry, what I would suggest is maybe putting in, um, when you're about to apply your foundation, spray your face, spray your beauty sponge or your um, brush or use some type of beauty oil to apply the foundation as well and it will go on a lot better and it will not show your dry spots. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on the review of this foundation. Until then guys, have a wonderful day and happy 
Valentine's Day weekend and have a lot of chocolate and yeah. I will see you guys next time in my next video. Until then, bye!